हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वॉलकैनोज एंड वॉलकैनिक लैंड फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट आर वॉलकैनोज देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वॉलकैनिक मटेरियल इंट्रूजिव वॉलकैनिक लैंड फॉर्म्स एक्सक्लूसिव वॉलकैनिक लैंड फॉर्म्स टाइप्स ऑफ वॉलकैनोज हॉटस्पॉट वॉलकैनोज एंड लास्टली इम्पैक्ट ऑफ वॉलकैनोज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट आर वॉलकैनोज A volcano is a vent or opening through which heated materials are ejected from the highly heated interior of the earth. The endogenetic mechanism of volcanicity includes the creation of hot and liquid magmas and gases in the mantle and crust. Exogenous mechanism includes the process of appearance of lava, fragmental material, mud, smoke etc in different forms. The mantle contains a weaker zone called asthenosphere. It is from this zone that the molten rock materials find their way to the surface. Volcanicity played an important role in cooling of the earth throughout geological history. Their distribution is almost similar to the earthquakes that is specific ring, mid-continental belt except hotspot volcanoes. Now let's discuss about volcanic material. Volcanoes expel a combination of material The material in the upper mantle portion is called magma. Once it starts moving towards the crust or it reaches the surface, it is referred to as lava. Steam and vapor constitute 60 to 90 percent of total gas discharge. The gases include carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, chlorine, fluorine, nitrogen, etc. Pyroclastic material includes volcanic ash like sand. kinders 2 to 4 mm blocks more than 64 mm lava is of two types basic lava these are highly fluid dark in color and hottest lava rich in iron and magnesium but poor in silica spreads out thin sheets acidic lava these are highly viscous slow flowing rich in silica etc they are often explosive and form steep slopes Now let's discuss about intrusive volcanic landforms. The lava that cools within the crustal portions assumes different forms. These forms are called intrusive forms. Batholiths, the large party of magmatic material that cools in the deeper depth of the crust, develops in the form of large domes. Lacoliths, these are large dome-shaped intrusive bodies with a level base and connected by a pipe-like conduit from below. Lapolith As and when the lava moves in horizontal direction and develops into a saucer shape concave to the sky body it is called lapolith facolith when magma cools in synclines and anticline such wavy materials with a definite conduit to source are called the facoliths sills the near horizontal bodies of the intrusive igneous rocks are called sill or sheet dikes When magma gets cooled in the cracks and fissures developed in the land and forms wall-like structure such structures are called dikes Now let's discuss about extrusive volcanic landforms depending on the characteristics of lava it takes various shapes resulting in different types of volcanoes A volcanic vent is the place at the earth's surface where lava tephra and fragmented rocks are erupted A volcanic crater is a bowl or funnel shaped depression that usually lies directly above the vent from which volcanic material is ejected. Craters are commonly found at the summit of volcanic edifices but they may form above satellite vents of composite and shield volcanoes. Now let's have a look at the types of volcanoes. First is shield volcanoes. Volcanoes ranging in size from small to truly massive created by steady non-violent outpouring of lava Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea in Hawaii are shield volcanoes stratovolcanoes also known as composite volcanoes stratovolcanoes erupt both as flows and violently Mount St Helens and Mount Rainier are stratovolcanoes Kinder cones short steep volcanoes associated with limited eruptive events lava domes lava domes form where thick viscous Magma erupts to the surface forming a steep dome shaped landform. Lava domes can form within a crater of large composite volcano. Calderas are the most explosive of the earth's volcanoes. 
they are usually so explosive that when they erupt they tend to collapse on themselves rather than building any tall structure the collapsed depressions are called calderas now let's discuss about hot spot volcanoes plumes of mantle magma molten rock are theorized to rise buoyantly from a source within earth's deep mantle when such a plume rises into the shallow mantle it partially melts and may then rise to the surface where it can erupt as a hot spot volcano hot spot volcanism is distinct in that it does not originate at boundaries of earth's tectonic plates mental plumes that form hot spots are thought to be relatively stationary whereas the overlying tectonic plates typically are not thus as a plate moves over the location of a plume eruption it carries successively older volcanoes with it example deccan plateau passed over the hot spot volcano where currently the reunion island is over geologic time these processes produce lines of islands atolls and sea mounts known as hot spot tracks or chains the hawaiian islands and the chain of sea mounts that continue their trend for about 6000 kilometers into the northwest pacific ocean are an example of a hot spot track now moving on to impacts of volcanoes explosive volcanic eruption short term and long term hazards volcanic ash can blanket the landscape for miles which can retard the vegetation growth ash clouds can disrupt the air travel the gases coming out of the earth's interior can worsen the pollution on the other hand it may also reduce the global temperature example pinatubo eruption in 1991 reduced the global temperature by 0.5 degrees celsius lava also provides valuable minerals like gold silver lead zinc etc now moving on to practice questions first of all prelims question consider the following statements the barren island volcano is an active volcano located in the indian territory one barren island lies about 140 km east of great nicobar Two, the last time the barren island volcano erupted was in 1991, and it has remained inactive since then. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two and three only, three only, or one and three only? And now main question: Mention the global occurrence of volcanic eruptions in 2021 and their impact on the regional environment. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.